Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome, everybody. Chris, Claudia, Saul. Mr. Richana. Good evening. Hello, welcome to the class. Welcome to the class. Okay, let me see. Today we have Ana Maria is a listener today, right? Okay. Today's class number 15. Okay, Ana Maria. Jorge, listener too. I understand. Saul. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening, everybody. Welcome, Mario and Saul. Okay, Saul. Okay. And Brian. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin with the class. Good. Uh, remember, today we are going to finish unit number three. Unit number three we finished today, right? And according to the program, you need to finish unit three in the platform, right? In the platform. So today we're going to check it. But for the moment, let's introduce the presentation for today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work, national program, English for Work. This is basic one, class number 15, right? And today is November 20th. The topic is vocabulary practice. In other words, is a summary, un resumen, right? A summary of the unit number one. Number three, sorry, excuse me. Where do you work, right? And remember, we were working with uh, information questions or WH question, the same. With the word what, where, when, why, which, how, whose, whom, who, etc., 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 right? Okay, and remember that the WH word refers, what refers to things. What book, what table, what house, or what, what name, what idea, what problem, what situation. So abstract or concrete, who is for people? Hello, hello. Welcome. Where is for places? When is for time? Whose is for possession? Why is for reason? Which is for option, right? Which color do you like? Which um, flavor do you like? Which language do you speak, right? So it's, it's a choice. Do you want to speak then? Whom is for people but as an object? And how is for manner, form? Right? Okay, this is the, the WH words that we use in information question or WH question, right? With the verb to be, where are they from? Where is Mario from? Where is Claudia from? Where is Jorge from? Where is Jorge Alberto Orellana from? He's from Cujucuy. I don't know. He's from San Salvador, right? Yes. What is your name, lady? What is your name, Mr. Mr. Melgar? Say, my name is Mario Ernesto, right? Okay, but the most important part here is the information question or WH question. 
with the simple present, right? And we have the formula class, remember? W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. W is word, auxiliary, subject, or verb. The only exception is when we use who as a subject, right? Remember the exception. That's the only exception. Then W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Okay. Um, this one. Mm, I prefer to omit this because it's uh, yes, uh, there to be. We're going to go to the information question with the use of do, 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 do right? And we use uh, remember, right? We use the auxiliary to and does, right? Number one, in negative statements or negative sentences, right? We use the auxiliary do and does with questions. Yes, no questions. Do you like ice cream? Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't, etc. Cetera, et cetera, right? And finally, short answer, right? Do you work? Do you work in inversiones educativas? Yes, I do. Do you work in Express El Salvador? No, I don't. Do you work in Ayala y Alfaro? Does she work in Ayala y Alfaro? Yes, she does. No, she does. So we say, yes, she does. No, she does. So we say, uh, do and does in a negative question and short answer, right? Here, we have an example. Because it's a question, right? In all the questions, we use the auxiliary, the do and does, right? What do I do? Mm, supervise. Supervise is one activity, right? Where do you work? Where? In the accounting department, it's a place. When? Two times. Two times a week, right? Two times a, a week. How? De que manera? How? They investigate the customer's needs. And what time? At 8 a.m. 8 a.m., right? Okay. Any question? No question, teacher. Okay, excellent. Also, see you. Okay, no questions. No questions. So let's continue. In a moment, I will take the attendance, right? Look, this is the structure, right? Information, question, where, when, auxiliary, do, subject, you. Uh, the verb, right? And the complement that is not really important. Well, it's important, but not for the structure. Just give me a second, please. Okay. Now, here we have examples with the use of do and does, right? In information question, in this case, does. With he, she, or when we have a singular noun, or both is a common noun, Miguel is a proper noun, so those are singular, right? So we say does. What does she do? Where does he go? Which department does our boss supervise, right? So what? Visits. Where? Company headquarters. Yes. Eh, las oficinas centrales de la compañía, right? Head company headquarters. Which department? The marketing department. What time? Nine o'clock. Right? So these are the answers for the question. And this is an example with does. Look, what does he do? 
W's were auxiliary subject and verb. W's were auxiliary subject and verb, right? Okay. This was a review, right? With do and with does. What do you need? What does she want? What do they want? Why does she like? Does she? Do you? Do they? What color do you want? Do you? What side does he need? Does he? Which sweater do you want? Do you? Which shoes does she like, right? So we use that for he, she, it, and singular. Common and proper nouns. We use do for you, they, we, and I, right? Good. Uh, yeah, this is the first exercise, right? What do you like? So, W is word. Uh, auxiliary. Subject. And verb, right? Simple. Simple. So we're going to make this sentence. But before we start, I will take the attendance class. Are you ready? Okay. Ana Maria is listening, right? Va a estar de oyente. Eh, Claudia? Acá estoy. Yes. Okay. Presente. Present. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Uh, Chris? Here, only listen for a moment, teacher. Oh, okay, good. Daisy? Miss, Cost Miss Castellanos Arevalo? No, okay. Uh, Dagoberto? Present. Thank you. Glenda? Present. Thank you. Griselda? Present. Thank you. Jorge, que está de oyente. And Josué? Mr. Castillo Gaitan? Carolina? Marcela? Marcela? Let me see if Marcela is here. No, right? Okay. Mario? Ernesto? Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Present teacher. Marlon? Maybe. Odmar. Saul, there is a listener. And then Jancy. Hello, Jancy. Present teacher. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. We're ready for the action. Are you ready for the action? Here we go. Yes. Okay. Question number one. Claudia, you begin, please. <clears throat> Remember, uh, Claudia, W is word. Hola. W is word. Auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Okay, let's begin. <laughs> one, two, uh, three. Yeah. <laughs> Permítame que me acabe de pasar un accidente. <laughs> Se cayó el café. Oh. No, estaba poniéndole crema a unos macarrones y se me salió volando el café. Se me con... reventó la bolsa. ¿Cómo vamos a Pero cenar mira... ahora, Claudia? No. Pizza. 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 No, tiene que llamar a la pizza. Vaya, este, tendría que ordenarla, ¿verdad? Ajá. So, uh -huh. Yes. What? 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 Um, 
auxiliary. Remember the subject is your daughter's friends. It's plural, right? Friends. Need. Uh -huh, but what is the auxiliary? Do or that? What need? Oh. Um, does. Do. Mm, friends is, do. is plural. Do, right? Do. What, what ah, do? Okay. What do? Singular. No, no, it's plural. What do. Your daughter's oh, friends. Much, much, much. Los amigos de tu hija, right? Your daughter's friend. What do need you? Mm. Need your? Mm. No, wait, wait, Claudia. Oh. Relax, relax. What is this? Los, los macarrones de desconcentrar, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Concentration. I know. <laughs> Concentration. Okay, remember, it's WH word, auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Subject and verb, right? This is the formula. Memorize. WH word, auxiliary, que ya los tenemos aquí abajo. Subject, mm -hmm. el sujeto, and then the verb. The por último, el verb. Okay? So, come on, Claudia, you can do it. You can do it. What do your uh -huh. your daughters? Okay. Friend, friends, friends, need, need, correct. You see, Claudia. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. yes. What do your daughter <laughs> friends need, right? I know. Okay. De mentira. What do you need? I need a spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> what do okay. your daughter friends need? Need. <laughs> what is information question word? Do is the auxiliary. Your daughter's friends is the subject. And need is there, right? Easy. Easy, right? Okay. Now, let's continue with the next one, right? Uh, Dagoberto, please. What does Martin want? What does Martin want? What does Martin want? What does Martin want? Eh, sorry. What does Martin want? Uh -huh. Excellent. Excellent. Right now, please, Glenda. Number four, Glenda. What do we have? What do we have? Simple. Easy, right? What do we have? Uh, I have a friend. I have a car. I have a, a doll. I have a pencil. <laughs> okay. Now, what color shoes, right? This is for Griselda. What color shoes? Uh-huh. Do you need a book? What color shoes? Do you need at work? My goodness. Perfect. Excellent also, right? Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What do you like? What do your daughter's friends need? Daughter's friends. What do your daughter's friends need? What does Martin want? What do we have? What color shoes do you need at work? Good. Any question? So let's continue, babies. Let's go to number six, right? Let's continue with this. Number six. Number six is for ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ernesto. Uh, what does color... What does color sheer he like? Uh, 
Okay. Now let's see what are the elements do we need, right? Just give me a second. I need the connection for my computer. Okay, here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for the host. Now I got the power. I got the power. <laughs> Good. Now, Ernesto, remember, number one is W is word. Right? That's number one. Yes. Yeah. Number one. Number two is the auxiliary. Right? Okay. So they, so yeah. number, number three is the subject. Mm -hmm. The subject. And number four is the, the verb, right? Yes. It's the verb. These are the elements. Now we're going to compare and we see if we complete all the elements in the question. WH word, correct. What? In this case, we include the word color, right? Yes. That's... What color? What mm -hmm. color? Huh? ¿Qué color? Mm -hmm. What color does uh, look at? We have WH word, clean, correct. Auxiliary, does, correct. Subject, mm, no, I don't think shirts is the subject. Sería, what color shirt does he like? No what, sería color, así. what color shirts? Uh huh. Does, does he? He like. Does like. he like? Excellent. Also, like. yes, I like it. So in this case, oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Bueno, vamos a hacerlo otra vez porque, sorry. Qué oso, qué oso, excuse me. Okay, again, right? What color shoe, shirts? Does he like, right? Does he like? What color shirt does he like? So what? One. Auxiliary two. He three. That is the subject. And the verb like, right? That is for excellent. Excellent also. In the past, people used to say tilin, right? Tilin, but in the present, no, no more. They don't say TV anymore. Okay, number seven, please. Mario? Okay, teacher. What size uh, does your... What size jacket? Uh -huh. what's, what size jacket does your son need? Does your son need, right? What size jacket does your son need? Mm -hmm. Totally correct, Mario. Totally correct. Now, please, Jansi. Number eight. Um. <laughs> what? What or why? No, why he? Why he? Um, closely clothed at home, like. Okay, let's check it out, right? Number one. W is word. Number two, auxiliary. Auxiliary. Number three, subject, right? And number four, verb. Okay, now auxiliary, W is word. Correct, right? Auxiliary, mm, mm, Jancy, the auxiliary is missing. No falta el auxiliar. 
Sería das. Das. Correct, das. Ok. Number two, Silvia. Number three, subject. He. He. Uh -huh. And number four is the verb. Four, right? What is the verb? Luz is flojo, flojo, ropa floja. What is the Luz. verb? Sorry? No, Luz, Luz. Luz is an adjective, flojo. Um, flojo, holgado. Um, it's an adjective, right? Luz is an adjective. What I need is the verb, the action, you know? What is the action? Luz or like? Um, like. Luz, like, like, correct. Why does he like loose clothes at home, right? That means in Spanish, Yancy, ¿por qué le gusta la ropa floja o holgada, right? Para no vernos gordos, profe. <laughs> no, no, but it's the, the opposite. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Number nine. Thank you, Yancy. Uh, Claudia, please, again, but let me see. Quiero ver si ya se incorporaron más al grupo. Vamos a ver. Um, La hola. Daisy mm -hmm. Josué mm -hmm. Carolina Marcela Marlon Maybe Otmar <laughs> My goodness, ¿qué se ha hecho todo el mundo? Today is... On vacation, teacher. Still on vacation, right? Yes. Still on vacation. We I need, need a listener. In December, Mario. In December. Chumpipollo, morteros, estrellita, right? <laughs> Pollo campero, lights. <laughs> But for the moment, continue in November, we, we continue, right? Remember, we are going to finish on Monday, next Monday. Monday, November 27th, we finish, right? Okay, good. I have a question. Do you understand? Vamos entendiendo el tema? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. So let's continue. Uh, Claudia? Hola, hola. Number nine, please. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, permítame. Quiero. Una consulta nada más, eh, que uh -huh. todavía ahí me trabo. Eh, cuando um, vaya, ahí donde dice your parents, está la S, quiere decir que está en plural. Uh -huh. eh, Do me dijo que era plural. Yes. yes. We do. Yes. Why do? Why do? Um, pardon. Why do? Want a new car? Mm -hmm. Okay, but wait. I need the subject, <laughs> Claudia. I need the subject. Before the action, I need the subject. What is the subject? Okay. Sería, why do your parents? Excellent. Uh -huh. Want a new car. Want a new car, right? A new car. Why do your parents want a new car? Excellent also, Claudia, yes. Why do your parents want a new car? Everybody wants a new car. I need a, a new car. My car is very old. So, so why do your parents want a car, a new car? Because a new car is very nice, right? Okay, let me see. Uh, Dago, can you help me with the number 10, please? Which the dress? Uh-huh, cual vestido, right? Which dress? Does Claire like? Does Claire like? Notice that it's not likes, it's like, right? Okay, nice. Congratulations, everybody, for the 10 questions. 10 questions. So you know, you know the structure. Eight, very good. W is word, auxiliary, 
subject and verb. I know. I know how to do it. Yes, it's nice. Congratulations. Yes. Okay, good. So that's it. That is the formula. Right now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. What color shirts does he like? Cortesy of Mario, what size jacket does your son need? Why does he like loose clothes at home? Why do your parents want a new car? Which dress does Claire like? Good. Any extra question? No, teacher. No? Okay. Um, what do you find the, uh, difficult? Lo que veo que a veces encuentran difícil es el, cuando el sujeto, identificar el sujeto, right? Yes, it's one of the difficult things, right? Remember, when we find the subject, we say I, you, we, they, and I do, right? He, she, and it does. But when we have uh, my student, Pedro, Juan, Maria, Pirulais, Misifus, right? So we say das. But I was telling Claudia that when we have pa a parent, for example, when we have um, when we have my friends or my daughter's friends, and you have a ness, it's plural. So we say do. In this case, why do your parents? Because parents is plural, we say do, right? Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. It's like when you were saying uh, they, es como que estuviéramos diciendo ellos. Porque ellos le quieren un nuevo carro. Porque ellos, right? Ellos, so your parents, right? So when it's plural, do. When it's singular, does, right? Okay. I have a message here. Let me see. Estaré escuchando. Ah, okay, Daisy, and welcome. Welcome, Daisy. De oyente, vamos a tener a Daisy. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now let's continue with the summary, with the review, right? Teacher. Yes. Puede explicar cuando es singular y plural. Ah, oh, sí. Me, me confunde esa parte siempre. Ok, good. In this moment. Let me see, right? Ok. Ok, number one, let me explain the rules, right? Plural nouns. Yes. Number one, add S. Add F, right? Eh, a la mayoría de nombres, right, Ernesto, le vamos a agregar una S, solamente una S, for example, right? Say, student. Students. Notice, we are only an S, right? Um, uh, Josué, yes, let me see. Copiado, Josué. Deme un segundo que le estoy contestando aquí a José. Yes. Ok. Other example is car. Cars. O like in the in the example, right? Parent, papá o padre de familia, right? 
parents. Right? So, every time you see an S, the noun is plural, right? Cada vez que vea un nombre que lleva una S, el nombre se convierte en plural. El 99% es así, Ernesto. Así que, super fácil de identificar los plurales, right? Good. Second one. Add ES, -E sorry. ¿Cuándo le vamos a agregar ES? Cuando la palabra termine en O, S, Z, CH, SH o X, right? Cuando los nombres terminen en estas letras, le vamos a agregar una ES, right? Example. Tomato. It ends in O, so for the reason is tomatoes. Tomatoes, right? Tomatoes. Not tomatoes, no, no, tomatoes. Y es tomatoes. Eh. Tomatoes, right? Other example is dress, vestido, right? Dresses. Yes. Other example is watch, reloj, right? Watches. Right? Uh, box, caja, right? Box. Boxes, right? Rule number two. Regla número dos. Cuando los nombres terminen en esa. En esas letras se vamos a agregar S. Right? Number three. Number three. Change the Y. To I. And then add ES. Right? Si el nombre termina en Y, como secretary, right? La Y se la ponemos ahí latina, so we say secretary, right? And then you add ES. Okay? Good. And rule number four, irregular nouns, right? Los irregulares. Esto lo vimos en la presentación número dos. Ahí está. Pueden ir a buscar en los mensajes del grupo. O si quieren, se los envío esta noche. La presentación número dos. Ahí está. Que envía el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. Irregular. Por ejemplo, mouse. Mouse. Mice. People, I mean person. People. Tooth, diente, right? Dientes, teeth. Foot. Feet. En este nos confundimos bastante. Child. Children. Man, hombre. Congratulations, man. Ayer estuvimos celebrando o el sábado. El Día Internacional del Hombre, right, man. En plural, man, right. Woman. Women. And what else? Pulpit. Um, fish. Pescado, right? Fish is the same. No cambia. Fish, fish, right? 
Okay, so then, when are you going to identify the plurals? ¿Cuándo vamos a identificar los nombres que son plurales? Cuando lleven una S, el 95, 99%, you know? Solo llevan una S. Si llevan ES, es porque terminan estas letras. Y si llevan una Y, no, en este caso latina ya, porque la cambiamos, eh, y una ES también es plural, right? Y los irregulares, pues, solo es de aprendérselo de memoria. Yes? By now, right? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Uh, otra cosa, Ernesto, cuando usted ve un nombre, por ejemplo, Pedro, es, he es singular. María, she, right? Singular. Pero si ve Pedro, Juan, en María, <ríe> me suena pecero. No, eh, eh, Pedro, eh, Carmen y Antonio, por ejemplo. Entonces, en este caso son tres nombres plural. Y si me incluyo yo, I and you, tú y yo, plural. Right? Eh, they, they and we, ellos y nosotros, plural. Right? Yes. Quiere decir que siempre y cuando incluya más de uno, Siempre vamos a decir que es plural, right? Y en ese caso, pues, Ernesto, vamos a usar el do. Tanto en negativo como en pregunta y respuesta. Do, right? Si hay alguna, eh, ¿tiene alguna idea? O si quieren, veamos algunos ejemplos en los que trabajamos para terminar de rematar. Yes. Aquí en todos los ejemplos que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Ok, you. Va, en este caso, you puede ser singular y plural, pero como ya dijimos, que aunque sea singular, el you, tú, el I, que es singular también, pero en este caso, por reglas, como no son terceras personas, son primera y segun, segunda y, ter, y primera persona, entonces vamos a usar el do, ¿sí? Ok, aclarado eso, vámonos con el she. She es solo es uno, ¿verdad? Pero usamos el das porque es tercera persona, ¿sí? Ok. They, plural. She, singular. You, singular. He, singular. Solo que, en, repito, en el caso de you, como es segunda persona, sí usamos el do, no el das, ¿verdad? Y así podemos ir viendo. Más ejemplos acá. Daughter, friends. Este es buen ejemplo, ¿bien? Eh, daughter, friends, estamos hablando no de tu hija. No, no, estamos hablando de los amigos, de, tu, de los amiguis de tu hija, right? Ok. Y luego tengo a Martín. ¿Cuántas personas son? ¿Cuántas personas son Martín? Number one. Only one, right? Solo es uno, yes. We es plural. Ok, y veamos otro ejemplo por acá. Eh, he es singular y aquí your son. Ahí está un ejemplo. Your son, tu hijo. ¿Cuántas personas es tu hijo? Solo es uno, ¿verdad? Your only, son. only one. Mm -hmm. uh, so you say, what size jacket does he need? O your son need, right? Ok, veamos otro. Your parents. Plural. Claire, singular, Claire. So we say das. Entonces, en general, simple y sencillamente cuando lleva S y el I y el you salen del contexto porque no son terceras personas, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí vamos a usar do, no vamos a poner what does I need o what, what does you need, no, no. So what do you need, what do, what do I need. Solo cuando sea tercera persona, singular es das y plural es do. Ahí está.
Okay. So let's continue. Complete the question, right? Okay. Let's continue practicing. Ladies and gentlemen, don't stop. Don't stop right now. Let's continue, right? Eh, nos quedamos con Dagoberto, right? Now, Glenda. Glenda Magali Garcia, please. Can you help me? Sería what? Ok, si quiere veamos la, la respuesta, permita, para que lea okay. en contexto. Para... He's a doctor. ¿Cómo preguntamos cuál es tu ocupación? Yeah. Um, sería who no, creo que no sería Hugo en este caso, ¿verdad? How, how you, how you, how, ¿qué significa, qué significa uncle? Ah, Hong Kong, mi, tu tío. Entonces sería how, how you, How you? How you? Ok, vamos mm -hmm. a ayudarle con el 50-50, ¿le parece? Sería what o how? How. Sorry. Ok, cuando digo que él es un doctor, ¿qué estoy respondiendo? Estoy respondiendo a qué es lo que hago. ¿Qué hago? ¿A qué uh -huh. me dedico? Ajá. No como lo hago, sino que ¿qué hago? ¿Qué soy? <ríe> Entonces sería what o how. Ah, no, que sería what you. What, what, muy bien. Y ahora vamos con el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. What. What. ¿Cuántas does... personas? Ajá, yes. Porque es el tío, es singular. Es un tío nada más el que nos lleva, <ríe> daba un dólar cuando éramos hipote, ¿va? What does your uncle? Solo el eh... verbo no falta, ¿verdad? Le llamamos al público, yes. Permítanme. Mm, yes. Voy a marcar aquí a, a Mario Ernesto, permítanme. Mario, Mario. Hello, good evening, Mario. Can you tell me what is the verb, please? Mario. Interference, interference. Ajá, Ernesto. Sería tú. Oh, ok. I'm sorry, Ernesto. Perdón que lo haya molestado. <laughs> Si sí, ha tomado su café, ya, ya no tiene la respuesta aquí, gracias. <risa> okay. Sería do, right? Do, yeah, uh -huh. thank Antes que, eso iba a decir Mario, ¿verdad Mario? Ernesto. <risa> Perdón. Sí, sí. Igualito el teacher. So, what does your uncle do? ¿Qué hace tu tío, right? What does your uncle do? Ok, very good, let's continue. Hmm. Okay, now please, Griselda. Um, what do your friends? What? Ah, permítame, vamos a la respuesta. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Qué oso. Permítame la respuesta ahí, Griselda. Sorry. Okay, they live in Usulután, Shulton City, right? What do your friends live? Mm -hmm. When I say what, me refiero a qué. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué comes? ¿Qué... Ah. Ajá, pero cuando digo Zulután. What do your friends? ¿Qué es Zulután? Es un lugar, es un... ¿Lugar? Excuse me. What do your friends... Aquí le voy a poner unos ejemplos, permítanme. 
What? Where? Ah. Or who? What are those tres? Griselda. What do you think square? Mm -hmm. No, what se refiere a cosas y usulután no es una cosa. ¿Qué sería usulután? Ah, where, 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 correct. Where? Where do your friends live? Excelente uso, Griselda. Where do your friends live, right? Where do your friends live? Permítame, tengo unos mensajes. Eh, sí. Ok, uh, permítame. Tengo una, un mensaje aquí. Un segundito. Uh, ok, good. So, where do your friends live? They live in Sulután. Eh, me preguntaban por ahí, en el caso de baby. Perdón, esto sale sale del contexto, pero baby city, ciudad, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el plural de baby? ¿Cuál es el plural de, de cities? Como la Y cambia por la I latina, so, le agregamos aquí luego es babies. City. City, right? Secretary. ¿Ok? Estos serían algunos plurales, ¿verdad? Con las reglas que ya explicamos. Comercio, comercio. Hoy sí regresamos nuevamente. Thank you, Griselda. Now let's continue with number three. I visit them every weekend. I visit them every weekend. So what is every weekend? It refers to what? Place. Okay, let me see. Uh, Ernesto. This is weekend. Mm -hmm. What is weekend? Weekend is place, people, time. When? 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. When? Que creo que dejamos poquito espacio. When? When do? Do? Busy. Uh -huh, but the subject, what is the subject? Ay. Mm -hmm. When do you visit? When do you right visit? Mm -hmm. Excellent. When do you visit? Okay. When do you visit your parents? Do you visit? I visit them every weekend. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. When do you visit your parents? I visit them every every weekend. Right. Okay, number four. Number four, Mario. In Cuscatlan Avenue. Cuscatlan Avenue is a place, a person. A... Where does your sister live? Es, Where does your Mario. sister live? Mario, sorry. Where does your sister live? Good. Why do you do your sister live? Teacher? Why do you say does, Mario? Why do you say does and not do? It's for a singular person in the third person. Totally correct. Okay, now. Where does your sister 
live. Live, right? Excelente, oso Mario. She lives in Cuscatlan Avenue. Okay, and the last one. Number five, right? He lives with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Jancy, please, it's your turn, Jancy. Um, what is grandmother? It's a place, it's a person, it's time. It's a person. It's a person. Okay, so what is the question? What, where, who, um, or when? What? Mm, no, what is for uh, thing? Para cosa, right? La abuela no es una cosa. <laughs> Solo el tío, <laughs> solo el tío cosa era una cosa, el tío cosa. Eh, where? Mm -hmm. No, no es un where lugar. Does... La abuela no es un lugar. Bueno, ah, es el restaurante de la abuela. <laughs> no, yo, yo fui a, a, la, a la, 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 la lugar que se llama la tía. Sería la abuela, <laughs> eh, Sí, quiero ver. Sería fifty fifty, el comodín de cincuenta cincuenta. Por favor. Okay. Where or who? Where or who? 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 Okay, okay. Who? Auxiliary. Who do? Mm -hmm. What is in this case? Your brother. Who? Singular or plural? Um, singular. Es uh -huh. That's okay. your brother. Live, live, right? Live, live, live. Where does your brother? Who does your brother live with? It says, right? Con quien vive tu hermano, right? Who does your brother live with? He lives with my grandmother. Okay, cool. Now, please okay. repeat after me. Thank you, Yancy. Thank you. Repeat after me. Okay, repeat after me. What does your uncle do? He's a doctor. Where do your friends live? They live in Shulton. Sorry, they live in Usulután. When do you visit your parents? I visit them every weekend. I visit them every weekend. Where does your sister live? Where does your sister live? She lives in Cuscatlan Avenue. Who does your brother live with? Who does your brother live with? He lives with my grandmother. He lives with my grandmother. 
Okay, question and answer. Question and answer. Number one, Claudia, please. Question, Dagoberto, answer. Number one, ready? Action. What does your um, um, uncle. Do? uncle do? He's a doctor. Continue. Dagoberto, number two, question. And Glenda, number two, answer. Where do your friends live? They live in Usulutan. Sulutan, Shulton, right? Glenda, now Glenda, uh, to Griselda. Number three question, Glenda. Griselda, three answer. When do you visit your parents? I visit them every weekend. Griselda, question. Number four, right? Ernesto, answer. Number four. Where does your sister live? She lives in Cucatlan Avenue. Lives? Ernesto, live. Live. Lives? Lives? In Cuscatlan Avenue. Good, thank you. Mario, Mr. Olano, you make the question to Yancy. Number number five. Who does your brother live with? He lives with my brother, my grandmother. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any question? So what? He's a doctor. Where? Usulután. When? Every weekend. Where? Uscatran Avenue. Who? My grandmother. You see? Like this, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Question with what time? What time is it? It's 9.02. 9.02. Let me check. Oh, correct. 9.02, yes. Exactly, right. What time does the class start? This class, it starts at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. What time? What time, right? Now, please repeat after me. It's 1 o'clock. Is one o five. Is five after one. Is one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Okay, what time is it? What time is it? Claudia, are you ready? Hola. What time is it? Ay. <laughs> um, it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, yes, very good. Dago, what time is it? It's nine ten. It's nine ten. Oh, you can say ten minutes after. 
after nine, right? Yeah. After nine. The two options, nine, ten, or ten minutes after nine, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Linda, please. What time is it, Linda? It's 9.15. 9.15 or a quarter after, after one. one. A quarter after nine. So. <laughs> no, after one. No, after, <laughs> after nine. Uh, it's a quarter after nine. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, very good. What time is it, Griselda? It's a nine. Um, four. Thirty or forty? Thirty or forty? Forty. Thirty, right? Thirty. No, oh, you 40. can. No, forty. No, es que esta chiquita la. Ah. La it's 9.30. It's 9.30, right? Or half past nine. Half past nine. Quiere decir, la mitad de la hora pasada de las nueve, right? Half past nine, okay? Good, thank you. Okay. Who's next? Mario, this is Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. What time is it? Ernesto, do you copy? It's 9.40. It's 9.40, right? Oh, 20 to 10. After, no, 20 to 10. To 10. A las... 20 a las 10, right? Okay. 20 a las 10. Good. Any question? No. Okay. Let's continue to the last one, right? Mario, ready? Yeah, teacher. What time is it, Mario? It's 10 to 11. It's 10 to 11. No, 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 no. 10 to 11, no. Esta no me la toma en cuenta, Mario. Es la segundera, right? Yeah, it's uh, 10 to 10. 10 to 10, correct, yes. I don't see you well, teacher. Sorry. No, sorry. No problem. No problem. Okay, Jancy. Um, five. It's five after ten. Five. After 10 or 5 to 10? 5 to 10. 5 to 10, right? Okay, very good, class. Congratulations. Uh, I, I have a friend here who wants to say hello and say congratulations to you, right? Congratulations. <laughs> He's Polar, right? <laughs> Polar. He, he, Polar receives He's English. He's angry, right? teacher. Oh, yes. He's angry. He's angry sometimes, you know. Sometimes he's angry. He likes to, to, to bark. Bark it's is very ladrar. Quiet. Ladrar, right? Uh, especially to uh, people from Cristal. When they say, agua Cristal. <laughs> he's very angry with, with those people, you know. Yeah, okay. Now, let's continue. More exercises about the the time, right? More exercises about the time. Good. So it's midnight is 12 o'clock at night, right? 
So in other words, we're going to say a different form. About, about this, right? Yeah. Good. For example, when I say it's 4 p.m. How do you say it's 4 p.m.? Another form. It's four in the afternoon. It's four in the afternoon. It, it, it is correct. In the afternoon. It could be. That's one possibility, right? It's four in the afternoon. Oh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Two possibilities, right, Mario? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Yes, okay, good. It's 9 15. It, it's 9 15 o'clock? No, o'clock, no, because. No, in the morning? In the morning. In the morning. It's 9 15. In the morning. in the morning or you can say it's a quarter after nine after nine right two example right it's 8 p.m it's eight o'clock at night eight o'clock oh my goodness yes eight o'clock at night, exactly. It's eight o'clock at night, right? Okay, good. And it's ten forty-five p.m. Another way to say this? It's uh, fifteen to eleven. 15 to 11. Mm. Hmm. It's correct. But another it's one. A quarter? It's a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter to 11. It's a quarter to 11. Okay. It's 3.30 p.m., right? Another way to say it's 3.30 p.m.? It's it's three three thirty correct right it's three thirty afternoon in the afternoon okay yeah. mm -hmm. correct also you can say it's half past three it's another possibility. Half past three, it's another possibility. La mitad pasada de las tres, right? Tres y treinta, okay? Good. Next one. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock in the evening, right? In the evening. It's six o'clock in the evening. Good. And finally. It's midnight. Mm, midnight. I no, no, no. It's noon. It's noon, right? Yes. It's noon. It's noon. Hora del sope, right? It's noon. Yes. <laughs> okay, class. Any question? Congratulations, you know. I know you 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 have you know how to say the time, right? Creo que al final logramos aprender cómo decir la hora. Yes, it's nice. So repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. It's midnight. It's twelve o'clock at night. 
It's 4 p.m. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 9.15 a.m. It's a quarter after nine. It's 8 p.m. It's eight o'clock at night. It's 10.45 p.m. It's a quarter to 11. It's 3.30 p.m. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. It's half past three. It's half past three. It's six PM. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Okay. Any extra question? No. Okie dokie. Let's continue learning. Good. Now, circle the correct answer, is it right? The movie it's at in or what? So this is the use of at in no in on and at in time, right? In on and at three prepositions, three preposition, right? In on and at in on and at. Okay, now. Letter A, it says, the movie is at 8 o'clock, at Wednesday, or at the evening. Let me see. Claudia, please. One okay. of 8 o'clock, Wednesday, or the evening. At. Este está un poco difícil, Claudia. Aquí tienen que acordarse del uso del in, on, y at. ¿Cuándo usamos in? Bueno, se lo recuerdo rapidito. In se usa en años, en meses, ok, eh, en partes del día, in the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening, ok. At se usa para tiempo específico, ok, y on se usa para días y fechas. ¿Ok? Si empiezo a ver así. Es complicado, ¿verdad? Está, ajá, está el día. Oh, the movie is at... In the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, qué ver. No. No, no, no. No, in the evening, we use in, in the evening, in the evening. So, in the evening is, is correct, right? So, in this case, because we have the preposition at, two options, Claudia, 8 o'clock or Wednesday. 
¿Cuál es suena? ¿Eroclock o Wednesday? Eight. Eight o'clock. The evening, eight o'clock. Congratulations, because it's, when we say a specific time, we say at, at three o'clock, at nine o'clock, et cetera, et cetera, right? Good. That's it, right? Now, the meeting is in, I mean, on Tuesday, on January, or on noon. Please, Dagoberto. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, my goodness. Correct, right? Glenda, please. Let her see. The game is in. In the morning. In the morning. Correct. Griselda, number two. The train is at the afternoon, at the morning, or at 2.30? It's at 2.30. Okay. Excellent. Tosso, yes. 2.30. 2.37, right? Good. Thank you. Now, let me see who's next. Permítame, quiero ver si ya se me incorporaron más, porque... Ana María sigue oyente, ¿verdad? Chris, the oyente. Daisy? I'm here. You, can you participate? Yep. Okie dokie. Thank you, Chris. And let me see. Jorge, todavía de oyente, ¿verdad, Jorge? Josué, todavía de oyente. Bien. Eh, Carolina? Marcela? Marlon, maybe, Omar, okay, good, so Chris, the class is at night, at Friday, or at the 10th? On Friday. On Friday. No, no way. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> no, but the preposition is at, Chris. At. At Friday? Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Uh -huh. It's at night end. At, no, only at night, no. right? Only at night, right? The tenth, no. Okay. Because when we say the tenth, we refer to date, right? Fechas. So we say mm. on on the tenth, on Friday. But night, you, you don't say on night, on night, no, on night, no, it's at night, right? Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you, Chris. After Chris, we have uh, Ernesto, right? Ernesto, let her see the party. Party people. Yeah, party. Is on noon on July or on July 3rd? On, on July. On July. On July. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. I don't know. Um, yes, no, July is in July. In July, when when you say months of the year, you say in. in. No, in is with month, con meses. Okay. Noon is at so. 
en bandeja de plata ahí. <risa> no, The, the party is in. no, no. The preposition is on. And the party is the party on. is on, right. You only have to say, eh, Ernesto, noon, al mediodía, right? July or July 3rd. July 3rd. July 3rd, correct. July 3rd, very good, thank you. Let's continue. Oh, Daisy, welcome, Daisy. Welcome to the party. Estamos haciendo un repaso, Daisy. Bueno, sigamos. Let's continue. The dinner is on 7.30 on Friday or on March. Mario? The dinner is uh, on Friday. On Friday, correct. When we say days of the week, on, right? Next one. Let me see. Uh, her birthday. Happy birthday to you. Her birthday is on November 1st, on November, or on December. So this is for, let me see. Jancy. Hello, Jancy, Miss Alvarez, are you ready? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, Jancy. On. On November. November. First. ¿Cómo dijo que se... First. first, November 1st. First. Jan Jancy, exactly. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Good. And Ana María, no, Ana María está de oyente. So, Claudia, please. Nuevamente, Claudia. Hola. The party is in October, first in October or in night? The party is night. Mm, no, in night, no. Uh -huh. The party is in October. Okay, okay, in October, yes. Ya nos pasó a la fiesta. No fuimos, ¿verdad, Claudia? Nah. Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please, ladies and gentlemen. Repeat after me. The movie is at 8 o'clock. The meeting is on Tuesday. The game is in the morning. The train is at 2.37. The class is at night. The class is at night. The party, attention, party, party, party. The party is on July 3rd. The dinner is on Friday. Her birthday is on November 1st. The party is in October. Okay, class. So we use at for a specific time and noon, midnight. So it's at noon, at midnight, at night. Right? We say in with month in January, in February, in March, in April, right? 
Uh, we say this with seasons in the summer, in the so in the spring, in the winter, right? We use on for dates, fechas, right? For example, we say on July 3rd. And we use on with days of the week. We say on Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday, etc., etc. Right? Okay, class. Questions? Esto ya lo habíamos visto, ¿verdad? Solo que está muy difícil aprendérselo de memoria, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Al que me lo diga todo, pues le, lo premiamos con un pedazo de semita. Ayúdame a vivir. Okay, good. Let's continue. I have a message here. Espero que sea alguien que se active. Oh, yes. Thank you. Semita mieluda. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Continue more practice. Too nice for practice. Let me see. Good. Complete with in, on, and at, right? Let me see. We are going to, to make groups. Don't want to say group, please. Make the screenshot. And let's capture the pantalla. Siempre ahí. ¿Quién me ayuda? Griselda y Mario, creo, ¿verdad? Me, me hacen la captura y me la envían al, me, al mes, a los, al chat. Please, do me. Do me the favor. In, on, and out, right? Ready? We are going to make two groups. Oh, thank you, Glenda. Le ganaron, Mario. Le ganaron, Mario. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Bueno, ahí tenemos el chat, la, el ejercicio. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de dos. Ahí estamos. Crear grupo, group number one. Eh, Daisy puede participar, ¿verdad, Daisy? Bueno, entonces tenemos a Daisy, Glenda, Griselda, Ernesto, Mario y Saúl, que está de oyente. Number two, Claudia, Chris, Dago, Jorge, que está de oyente, José Armando, que está de oyente y Jancy. Ok, pero vamos a hacer una cosa. Voy a pasar a Ernesto, no, a Mario. Vamos a pasar al, al grupo 2. Ahí estamos. Yes, again. Group number one. Daisy, Glenda, Griselda, Ernesto, and Saúl. Group number two. Claudia, Chris, Dago, Jorge. No, Jorge está oyente, sorry. Eh... Mario and Jancy, right? Sí, siento que dejé muy disparejo el uno, pero bueno, ahí yo creo que sí lo puedo hacer. Ok, ready? Here we go. Aquí vamos. This went down workshop. 
is sería un mes iba Uh -huh. Sola un tazón, dice. <risa> pero bueno. Ay, bueno, veamos pues la primera, ¿cómo sería? Bueno, la primera. Dice, when uh, the workshop is uh, Friday, ¿verdad? On, fr uh, espérame. on Friday. Friday, my. It's on Friday. On, fr on Friday. Ah, that one. Oh. It's on Friday. May. Sería at. No, porque es este día de semana. It's a, a, a day of a week. It's, It's on, on Friday. Sería on. On Friday. Sí. At nine. It's on uh, Friday. On Friday, on Friday, May 20th at, at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. At 9 p.m. When's your birthday? It's a ah, SMS in, ¿verdad? It's in August. Mm -hmm. Creería que es at. Mm -hmm. no, sí, porque in dijo él que era, era tiempos del día. In May, no, no te parece en el, el folletito. Así lo ven. Yo tengo aquí en May, este, si es en, en, en mes, en May. Entonces sería, it's in August, sería, ¿verdad? It's in August. In August, uh -huh. mm, uh, the nine, 19th. In the 19th. Four. Yes, Abba. Ad, uh -huh. mm -hmm. no. The class is at no. Y la ul, la, la cinco es no. Y ese is. On Wednesday. Omba. On Wednesday. Omba. Sí. En um, Wednesday. Así va. Mm -hmm. okay. Finish? Finish. Finish. Yes, okay, very good. Nos vamos ya entonces a la sala principal, ok? Ok. Group number one, please. When is the workshop? Is in Friday. In Friday. Mm. Oh. On, right? On Friday. 
Mm -hmm. On Friday. On Days Friday. of the week, on. On Friday, on Wednesday, on Sunday, on Monday today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says, it's on Monday, May 20th. At? At, correct. When we say PM. time, when we say time, we say at, right? Okay. When is your birthday? Happy birthday to you. It's group number two, please. In August. In August, right? When we say names of the month, in, right? The 20th, the 19th, sorry, the 19th. In the 19th. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, when we say about no, dates, at the 19th. At the 19th. No. At is for oh. specific. Mm -hmm. At is for specific. On. On, on correct. On the 19th. So when we say dates, cuando hablemos de fecha, right? We say on. Right? Este es el 19 de. No dice el mes, pero. Pero es el 10, ya, ya se sabe, se supone, ¿verdad? Que el 19 de agosto, por decirlo, ¿verdad? Right? Ok, group number one again. Is the company dinner on Sunday? No, it isn't. It's... On Saturday. On Saturday. Continue. At. At, at right. At 7 p.m. Good. 7. Thank you. Are we late? Ya vamos tarde. Mm, yes, we are. The class is group number two. At noon. At noon. Simple. At noon, right? At noon. Because it's very specific. At noon, at midnight, at three o'clock, at four o'clock, etc. etc. Good. Number five, please. Is the game on Friday? No, it isn't. It's group oh. number one. Oh. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday, right? Okie dokie. Good. Now let's practice, please. Anayansi. Ana Yancy and let me see. Hoy tenemos muy poquitos participantes. ¿Qué pasó, amiguitos? Ok, Yancy and Mario, please. Number one, Yancy A, Mario B. When's the workshop? It's on Friday, May 20th at 9 p.m. Kidoki, thank you. Now, please, Ernesto and en... Griselda. Ernesto and Griselda. Number two. Question. When's, when's, when's your birthday? It's in August. Um, uh, the 19th. 99, 99. The 19th. No, the 19th. The 19th. The 19th. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right now, Glenda and and Daisy, please. Glenda, your A. Daisy B. Number three. Is the company down in Osunda? Daisy. Bueno, entonces, Chris, nos ayuda, Chris. Hi. Which one? Number three, please. Letter B. Okay. That help me. Number three. Okay. No. Si quiere, no, repito, teacher. Ah, please, repeat, <laughs> repeat the question. Yes. Number number three, right? Is the company Daniel on Sunday? No, it isn't. It's on Saturday at 7. Okie dokie. And to finish, to finish, uh, Claudia and, and Jancy, please. Claudia, your A, Jancy, B. 
are gulay. No, no, it's the game on Friday. Okay. Ah, no, the game no, no, sorry, excuse on... me, excuse me. La cuatro la hicimos. No. No, vamos por la cuatro. No, la oh. acaba de pasar. La tres acaba de pasar. Ok, la cuatro no hace falta. Algo ley. Ok, yes, you're right. So, excuse me, eh, Jancy, you made number four. En... Que me, ya, ya me confundí, sorry, ya, ya, ya es la hora. ¿verdad? Ya necesito más <risa> copy. <¿verdad? risa> ok, okay Jancy. Number four, Jancy and Claudia. Letter B and number four, yes, ok. One, two, three, Are action. Argulé. Yes. We are the class in at noon. It's 12. 12. 12. 10 now. It's 12, 10 now. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Uh... Good. Let's continue, right? Number five. Number five is going to be Chris, letter A, Daisy, letter B. Number five. Ready? Do it. Is the game on Friday? Daisy? Okay, so uh, Dagoberto, help me please, Dago. No, it isn't. It's on Wednesday. It's on Wednesday, correct, right? Uh, any question or the proposition of time? Questions? No. Okay, let's go to a specific question, right? This is very interesting, so please pay attention. Um, pero antes de terminar con el último ejercicio... Este, bueno, este día tenemos muchos compañeritos que están de oyente, ¿no? Entonces, eh, para la sección de, de one to one, you know, de entrevista personal, hay espacio para que se puedan repetir. Así es que no sé si alguien de ustedes se puede, se quiere repetir. Que con Yancy ya estuvimos la entrevista, ¿verdad, Yancy? Sí, y bueno, Od Odmar no está y Saúl está de, de oyente, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos, ¿algún voluntario? Yo si quiere... Ah, ok, eh, Ernesto. Ok, thank you, Ernesto. Thank you very much. Quiero Omar poner como reenganche. <ríe> reenganche. Ah, no, ¿verdad, Ernesto? Con usted no me había quedado ni una vez. No, teacher. Excelentosa, pues no, no es reenganche. Ese es primer encuentro. <ríe> ok, thank you, Ernesto. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the question, right? Claudia, please. Can you make the question number one to Dagoberto, please? Question number one. What time do you... Get up on weekend, no, <laughs> on we weekdays. Dago? I get up at six o'clock. Uh -huh. Claudia, what time does Dagoberto get up? Hola. Hola. What time does Dagoberto get up? Okay, Claudia, repeat the question to Dagoberto. Repeat the question. Again, repeat the question. What time do you grab on weekdays? I get up at 6 a.m. Okay, now I make the question. 
Claudia, what time does Dagoberto get up? Do you understand, Claudia? I will say in Spanish. Listen. Dagoberto... Pero mira, estoy más o menos escribiendo lo que me acaba de decir. Él. Este... Dagoberto acaba de decir a qué hora se levanta. Uh -huh. Entonces yo le pregunto a usted, what time does Dagoberto get up? No, profe, no, 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 ok, vamos a ver, la última vez entonces, la última intenta. Eh, repeat the question to Dagoberto, repeat the question, number one. What time do you get up on the weekdays? Ok, le está preguntando a Dago que a, a qué hora se levanta los días de semana, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, él le va a responder ahorita, pero después yo le voy a preguntar a usted, Claudia, ¿a qué hora, <ríe> ¿a qué hora se levanta Dagoberto? Eso es lo que le voy a preguntar, ¿sí? Ok, Si, usted, okay. si Dagoberto se levanta a las 12 de la noche, es porque anda a sanar. No, no quiero decir. Y se levanta a las 13 porque tempranero. ¿verdad? No ha tomado café. <ríe> pues si se levanta a las 7 de la mañana, qué, qué dicha, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, preste atención entonces. Ok, please. Question number one, Claudia. What time do you get up on weekdays? I get up at 6 a.m. It... He, six. he, hola, he, estamos hablando de Dagoberto, he, he gets up, it's, no, no, it's no, he gets up, él se levanta, he gets, ajá, he gets up, Dagoberto, gets up, gets up, Mm -hmm. 6 a.m. Okie yes, 6 a.m. Dagoberto gets up at 6 a.m. Right, good. Dagoberto, make the question to, to Daisy, please. Not to Chris. Are you ready, Chris? Chris? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Good, good. Now, Dagoberto, make the question number two, please. Where do you eat lunch? Uh, I usually am eating my car. Oh, sorry. To, oh, sorry, Chris. Okay, now, Dagoberto, what, where does Chris eat lunch? Chris eats his lunch in the car. In the car, okay. Es lo pesado el trabajo, ¿verdad, Chris? Lo siento mucho, eh. Okay, yeah. Chris. Number three. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, question three, right? Question three goes to Daisy. Daisy, are you here? Ya me comentó que la, la entró otra vez el Zoom. ¿Está por ahí, Daisy? Bueno, entonces sigamos. Con Daisy con Glenda. Ajá. Uh -huh. Make the same question, uh, Chris. Question. Uh -huh. What do you do on weekends? Question number three. To Glenda. Me le va a preguntar a Glenda qué es lo que hace los fines de semana. Yes? What do you do on weekends? Come on, let's do it. Okay. What do you do on weekends? Mm, I visit my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Chris, what does Glenda do on weekends? She is visit uh, her family. She visit her family. Okay, very good. Vamos super bien, vamos super bien. Okay, uh, solo una pregunta, chicos. ¿Todos terminaron la plataforma en la unidad 3 o hay algún inconveniente en algún tema? Para que lo revisemos ahorita antes de terminar la clase.
Pues yo creo haber terminado, teacher, pero no. No, no encontró no sé. algún difícil, algún ejercicio difícil, Mario. Eh, no, teacher, creo ah, no, que no. Vamos, solo. Okay. Creo usted que he regalado, me... regalado. <risa> ok. <risa> bueno, terminemos entonces este ejercicio y después me quedo con, eh, con Ernesto. Ok, cool. Let's continue. Question number three. Where do you go shopping, right? Eh, make this question, please, Glenda to Griselda. Glenda to Griselda. Where do you go shopping? I go shopping to shopping center. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Where does Griselda go shopping, Glenda? She shopping. She goes. She goes shopping center. She goes shopping to shopping center. Again? She goes. Uh, she goes to shopping. No, no. Shopping she goes center. shopping. She goes shopping. She goes shopping. To shopping center. To shopping center. <laughs> It's a coincidence, right? <laughs> es una coincidencia ahí, okay. <laughs> Good, thank you. The last one, right? Vamos a ver si alcanzamos a llegar con Jancy. Eh, question number five. Question five, right? Eh, Ernesto to Mario. Number five. Please. Mm, eh, what books or magazines do you read? I read uh, adventure books. Um, Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, what books or magazines does Mario read, uh, Ernesto? He reads Avengers Book. Okay. Nice. Excelentoso. I like it. I like it. Right? Okay. And let's go to the na next one, right? Uh, Mario to Yancy, please. Number six, what TV programs do you watch on TV, right? What TV programs do you watch, Nancy? Nancy? I am... Um, I watch... I watch... Um, Netflix. Okay. Movies. Movies. Okay, good. Excelentoso. Now... Mario, what TV program, TV program does Jancy watch? Uh, Jancy, wa Jancy watches uh, Netflix. Movies. Netflix. Movies in Netflix, right? Netflix. Yes. The recommendation is in English, only in English. Class, only in English, right? Remember that. Okay, good. Jancy, let's go to, to Claudia. Why do you study English, say eh, to Claudia? Profe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What? Uh, I no, no, number seven. <laughs> number seven, Jancy. To Claudia. Uh, why, why do, do you... Uh, I... <risa> pregunto yo, pregunta ella, profe. Jancy va a preguntar, Claudia escucha okay. y okay. uh. well, why do you student English? Oh. Mm -hmm. What is the reason? ¿Por qué está estudiando inglés? Why do you study English, right? Eh, Claudia say because ¿por qué? ¿Por qué está estudiando inglés, Claudia? Why do you study? Para aprender, para trabajar, para viajar. Because work work because, because work, right? Good. Jancy, why does Claudia study English, Jancy? His work. 
because of work, right? She wants to work. She wants to work and have more she opportunities. When you learn English and you speak English, more opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. Not only in El Salvador, in all the countries, more opportunities. If you go to Nepal, English. If you go to Russia, English. If you go to the United States, English. If you go to Australia, English. If you go to Cujucuyo, English. Right? <laughs> Everywhere you use the English, right? Okay, thank you. Any question before we finish? No question, teacher. Okay, good. Los que no me han terminado la unidad 3, please, termínenmela. Y eh, mañana comenzamos con la unidad 4, right? Para terminar el lunes con una encuesta de Insafor. Class, thank you very much. Stay with Ernesto. Solo me quedo con Ernesto. The rest of you say goodbye. 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 See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. 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 Yeah. Bye bye. bye. Ernesto. Ah, estamos. Excelente. Hello, yes. Okay. Daisy, Josué, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. So, any question, Ernesto? Any specific topic that you want to study in 10 minutes? Okay. Any topic? Simple present, prepositions, uh, possessive, verb to be. Mm. En, más que todo, teacher, me, en Spanish. Ah, <ríe> yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Come on. Eh, difer, diferenciar más que todo los, más que todo me cuesta hacer las preguntas, pues. Ah, ok, bueno, Ajá. entonces focalicémonos en esto, eh, Mario. Primero, antes de hacer una pregunta, usted debe saber qué es lo que quiere saber. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Quiere saber si alguien está en un lugar o si alguien hace algo. Por ejemplo, ahorita, hágame una pregunta, cualquier pregunta en español. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que es, haces? ¿Qué es lo que hago? Entonces me está preguntando uh -huh. sobre algo, algo que hago, no algo que soy o dónde uh -huh. estoy. ¿sí? Así es. Ni me está preguntando, eh, eh, ¿ves televisión? No me ha preguntado eso, ¿verdad? No. Sino que me está preguntando qué es lo que hago. Muy bien, entonces... Para saber yo qué hace alguien, debo focalizarme en qué tipo de pregunta voy a hacer. Si una pregunta abierta o cerrada, ¿verdad? Vamos a compartir aquí la pizarra para que nos vean, Ernest. Yo ya tengo la información y solo quiero que usted me la confirme o no. ¿Sí? Esas son las okay. preguntas. Yo ya tengo la información, yo ya sé qué hace usted. Solo estoy confirmando si sí o si no. Entonces yo le hago esta pregunta, mire. Do you do you work in a, in a store, en una tienda de venta de ropa? ¿verdad? ¿Trabajas en una tienda? Entonces, ¿qué estoy esperando yo? No espero que me describa la tienda, no espero que me que me numere los clientes que lleguen, no, yo le estoy preguntando si si sí o si no. Si sí. Yes. No, entonces le digo, do you work in a store? Yes, I do. Sí, trabajo en una tienda. ¿O no? No, no trabajo en, en no, una tienda. No, no, I don't. Pero viene usted y dice, no, hombre, yo solo sí o no. No, hombre, quiero saber algo específico. Quiero saber quién, dónde trabaja, con quién trabaja, a qué horas entra, a qué horas sale. Eso quiero saber yo. Entonces, ¿qué tipo de preguntas le hace usted? Va, pre pregúntele a qué, a qué horas comienza a trabajar. Start working, start working, start working. ¿Cómo le pregunta a alguien a qué horas comienzas a trabajar? Do you start working? No, no oígame bien, ¿a qué horas? Mm. Entonces empieza una pregunta específica. What time? Ok. Y el, el verbo es start, ¿verdad? Comenzar. Sí. What time do you start working? Working. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué quiero saber yo? Quiero saber a qué horas. Quiero saber con quién trabaja. Quiero saber eh, dónde trabaja. 
¿sí? Entonces, para ese tipo de, de, de preguntas uso la de dónde, con quién, a qué horas, uh, vamos a ver qué más, por qué, por qué está trabajando, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. así es como formulo las preguntas. Si usted quiere formular la pregunta, eh, Ernesto, con saber dónde está la persona o saber si está en el parque o no está en el parque. Por ejemplo, como yo le pregunto a alguien, ¿estás en el parque? Are you in the park? Ya la persona me contesta, sí, aquí estoy o no, no estoy, ¿verdad? Pero si le hago una pregunta específica, where are you? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás? Tú? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde ¿Sí? estás? Uh -huh. Entonces usted responde, I am in the park. Va, entonces, para formular preguntas, Ernesto, resumiendo, primero debe saber qué quiere preguntar. Si quiere confirmar que le digan sí o no, o si quiere saber dónde, cuándo, cómo, por qué, con quién etcétera, etcétera. Así se formulan las preguntas, ¿sí? Okay. Sabi sabiendo usted qué quiere saber. Vaya, y Con, generalmente... Confuso, teacher. <risas> sí, sí, correcto, sí. Pero uh -huh. para eso ya debe manejar los dos tipos de preguntas en el presente simple, Ernesto. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, du si me pregunta, por ejemplo, si ella come, pregunte, ¿come ella? ¿Cómo lo haría eso en inglés? Eh. ¿Cómo le haría? Sí, pero, no sé, sí. Sí, sí. Ah, no, pero es que tenemos que usar los auxiliares. El do o el das. ¿Cuál se usa con el you? El, el, el do. El do, entonces yo le quiero preguntar es, do, do, do you eat? eat? Do you eat? ¿Comes uh -huh. tú? O da she, perdón, perdón, no es que habíamos dicho ella. Ah, ok, sí. Do... Es igual, pero digamos. Da she, she, she eat? ¿Come ella? Entonces, okay. usted, ¿qué tipo de respuesta esper, esperaría que le digan? Ah, come en la mesa, come pollo, no, no. ¿Esperaría usted que le dijeran? Sí, ella come o no, ella come. Ya no come. Yes, 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 she yeah. uh -huh. Oh, no. She does. She does, ¿verdad? Pero si usted quiere saber en dónde come, vaya, pregunte a dónde come. ¿Dónde come ella? Where, where, sería where? Uh -huh. She. Ajá, pero el auxiliar. Recuerde las cuatro no. partes, Ernesto. Where, where does. Ajá, correcto. Where does she eat? Sí, vaya, ve. Entonces, aquí esperaría una respuesta como yes, she does. O, o qué respuesta esperaría usted? Que me dijeran qué, que me dijeran qué. Ya que hago la pregunta sobre ella, ¿qué esperaría yo que me dijeran cuando yo digo where does she eat? ¿Dónde vieron? En la en la house, en el restaurant. Ok, no sé. sí, sí. Ajá, correcto. Esperaría que me dijeran un lugar, Ernesto. Yes. She eats in a restaurant. Bueno, she usted dijo restaurante. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. Uh -huh. Good, that's it, right? Así es como okay. más o menos se formulan las preguntas. Ok. Si usted quiere saber si sí o si no, es una pregunta cerrada. Si quiere saber dónde, cómo. ¿Con quién? ¿A qué horas? ¿Qué día? Entonces usa una pregunta abierta, ¿verdad? como la que hemos visto, ¿sí? Ok. Muy bien. Ernesto, usted ha hecho un compromiso con la inglés ahorita, así que por favor trate de usar ciertos materiales. Hoy día les envié un, un video para que lo practiquen, ¿verdad? Ahí en el grupo okay. de WhatsApp, ¿sí? ¿Sabes, sabe, Ticho? Otro que... Otra, otra cosa que me cuesta es el, escu el, el escuchar, el entender. Ah, vaya. Fíjese que la vez pasada... Me cuesta pasada, bastante, creo. Fíjese que la vez pasada yo les envié un, un, un video de cómo practicar este, el escuchar. 
-huh. este, era un video de dos, de dos horas y media. Era un video de dos horas y media. Entonces, este, lo voy a enviar otra vez. Ok. ¿En qué consiste el video? Mire, usted... Bueno, hay muchos videos de esto en YouTube, un montón de videos, ¿verdad? Pero este que yo le voy a enviar es bien sencillo. Usted escucha lo que dicen y ya, trata de entenderlo como sea. No importa, no importa que, que diga esto, que diga lo otro. No, usted escúchelo como, como caiga, ¿sí? Ok. En la número dos, vuelve a escuchar la misma oración y la repite. Así como caiga, no importa si usted solo adivinó una letra, una palabra. Ya, sí, así dígalo, ¿verdad? Y en la tercera, usted va a ver cómo se escribe. ¿Sí? Ok. En la primera, solo trata de entender qué dice, no diga nada, solo escúchelo. En la segunda, lo escucha otra vez y lo repite. Y okay. en la tercera, ve cómo se escribe. Ahí está, ese es un ejercicio que le voy a enviar, ¿sí? Va, Además de eso, ya. mire, la música, las películas, uh, es un material excelentoso para aprender, Ernesto. Claro. Sí, no, hombre, una película que usted viera todas los, los, las semanas en inglés, de muñequitos, porque uh -huh. ahorita estamos en el básico uno, solo de muñequitos, oiga. <risa> <risa> y música. No, bueno, y... Ahí, ahí, a la paz. Ah, correcto, ¿no? ¿y por qué no? pues? Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Y también pone música de viejita porque se entiende más, ¿verdad? Como Chicago, yes. Bread, Los BG, ya. Mm -hmm. Una canción semanal y una película semanal, ya la hizo. Okay. Va a mejorar así, Belice, en el, sí lo va a mejorar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero mientras tanto, ahí le envío el video otro ratito. Oiga. Ok, teacher. Ok, I hope to see you tomorrow. Well, see you, teacher, gracias. Bye, Thank bye. you. No, anytime. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. God bless you, Ernesto.